Hey folks, Will Brink here, www.brinkzone.com, and today going to cover a fairly simple question, which is, uh, should you count calories? And uh, there's two schools of thought of that, and honestly, uh, neither of them are actually wrong per se, but it does depends on the uh, depends on the person and the situation. I, I generally take a uh, if it's not broke, don't fix it approach to that question. That is, if your nutrition, if you're basically guesstimating uh, calories that you're taking in and obtaining the goals that you want, that is losing the weight that you're trying to lose or gaining the weight that you're trying to gain, then don't worry about it. You know, it's not uh, uh, a big deal and a lot of people that have been at it a long time, let's say, uh, who used to count calories maybe back in the day or whatever, who've gotten used to portion size, uh, you know, have a good sense of their nutrition and probably are pretty accurate to the amount of calories uh, that when they guesstimate uh, are getting the results they want. I mean, back in the day, I used to count all my calories, and this was pre-computer, of course. Uh, I used to sit, have to sit down with my, my paperback calorie book, a pencil, and a calculator, and uh, end of the day, write out all my foods, weigh them, and, and do it all. And I had to do it for a bunch of clients, too, uh, when I owned a private training business and stuff, and that was, frankly, a pain in the ass. But it had to be done, and I have to say, doing it for the amount of time that I did it by hand like that really did allow me to get a very good sense of food and when I do occasionally uh, go figure out how many calories I'm taking in it I'm pretty close to what I think I'm getting in having said that uh, people are notoriously bad at understanding the number of calories they're getting in that is when uh, studies look at people self-reporting how many calories they take it and then they go and check how many of these how many calories they think they're getting compared to what they think they're getting they are usually awful People, if they think they're getting more calories uh, th than they need, or if they think they're getting less calories than they need, they're usually completely off. Uh, and a lot of studies use self-reporting, that is weight loss studies, nutrition studies use self-reporting, and they are um, really have to be taken with a grain of salt because people know that self-reporting is so bad that uh, if one group is self-reporting a diet versus another group, it's pretty hard to take the results of the study seriously. Uh, and studies that really do control people's diet specifically, that is, give them the food and count their calories and stuff, are, tend to be a lot more accurate. So having said that, uh, the bottom line is that if you're not getting the results you want, that is, in weight loss or weight gain, then yes, counting calories is a major variable as to whether you're going to get the results you want, and yes, you will need to count your calories. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put up a formula, uh, sort of an abridged formula that I use, it was given to me, uh, by Dr. Antonio, and uh, it's what I use in my books. It, it's a pretty standardized formula with a, with a little bit of extra uh, variable thrown in for activity and such, which you can find, but you can use it. And uh, generally speaking, you know, it's again, you today you have websites today that you can plug in your numbers and your calories, and it spits back all of your calories and your macros and all that. So it's really not that difficult to do. And once you've done it for a little while, you, it gets easier and easier because you tend to eat more or less the same foods. And after that, you probably won't even need to do it at all because you really will have a sense of you'll be able to eyeball uh, a portion of, of food, uh, various foods, and probably be pretty close. But the bottom line is, like I say, if you are getting the results you want, I wouldn't sweat it. But it, sometimes people, again, they, uh, they get into what I call paralysis by analysis, which is just overly looking at the minutia of things, even though they're getting good results. And the first thing I say to people when they ask me in seminars or whatever, you know, do I need to be counting my calories? My response is, well, what type of responses are you getting uh, from your nutrition? And if the answer is you're getting the response you want, then apparently you're pretty much on target. Uh, if you're not, then that is, absolutely is the place you need to look. And I have to say, eight out of uh, ten times when someone comes to me and says I'm not losing the weight I want or I'm not getting the weight I want or whatever, it, it is always their nutrition. It is the calories that they're taking in between their total calories and their macros. It's very rarely... Uh, their workouts or something else. So uh, I hope that info helps. If it does, you know, please help the likes and the Twitter and, you know, share that bad boy around and uh, see you all on the Brink Zone.